Hello everybody and welcome to my wardrobe tour, or what's in my wardrobe. I'm sorry if the audio is not as good as it usually is. This is my wardrobe, so I can't like have my fucking awesome mic in here. So let's just go through my clothes, and I'm going to show you what they are, how, what I wear them with, and also where I got them from as well. And the link will be in the, the link will actually be in the description for where I got these clothes from. I know I always forget to put stuff in the description. If I forget again, just leave a comment saying, Jake, you, you forgot it. Okay, so let's get started. So right at the very back here, I have this top, uh, and it's from Darkside, which is a, oh jeez, which is a UK-based company, I believe. Um, but I just love all, I love like occult-looking clothing, you know, like uh, that's obviously like Illuminati or something. Um, but like black and white clothing, this is just like my jam. Now. It's not my favorite top that I have. It would be if it was longer. I'm not a big fan of like short clothes. It's a li it's a little on the short side. Next we have my uh, again some more occult clothing. This is my Killstar uh, Ouija vest top. This is an extra large, which is for some reason what I wear now. Even though I haven't gotten any taller or that much fatter than I used to be, <laughs> I used to wear as like a medium small. Now I'm an extra large. And obviously you can just go ahead and get this from the Killstar website, but. I really love this uh, this vest because of how long it is. It like it adds like a really nice aesthetic to what you're wearing. Now this top is very odd. It's um it's a, a long sleeve top with like a rounded hem at the bottom, and it's like a very stretchy material. And it's by a company called uh, Ulrich, and I've never heard of this company ever. And actually, a fan sent this to me. This was from Amazon. Can you believe? And it fits so well because of how long it is, and the sleeves fit so well, and the, just everything about this top fits amazingly well. <laughs> I can't remember who sent it, but we I think we unboxed this on a live stream uh, during the gaming, one of our gaming live streams. But I, I absolutely love this top. It's one of my favorite things that I own, and it was something that someone got for me, so thank you so much. Okay, so this next top I don't really like to wear too much because I don't really want to give off this sort of vibe about myself. I don't want people to hate me on <laughs> just looking at me. But it's a uh, piece of shit. Do you get it? So it's it's a uh, it's a long sleeves top. Uh, this is also this is also dark side. I actually got this from the same place that I got uh, this one from. Now long sleeves, like baggy long sleeves, tend to really irritate me, so I don't wear this that often, as well as because of the swearing that's on it. <laughs> which is not a vibe I want to go off about myself. But underneath various other garments of clothing, this looks really great. Especially because of the drip effect. So this is like just a standard black shirt that you can get from any standard clothing outlet. And it's always good to have a black shirt, just in case you want to wear something formal. And I usually wear that with this pencil tie that I have. And also I wear it with this waistcoat right here. Next up we have this incredibly awesome hoodie. It's like a really thin, like, all, okay, all this stuff is creased because it was just washed and I don't have an iron. But this is like this really incredibly shaped top. It's really, it's really thin material, so it's only meant to be worn in summer or spring, which is usually when I wear it. But it's, uh... It's asymmetrical, so both either side is different, and it's got like this long hood on it as well. It's like a bluish gray, which kind of works. Also an extra large. If you're wondering where I got this from, I got this from H&M. H&M have uh, like a pretty decent spring and summer range a lot of the time, and a lot of the clothes I'm about to, uh, that I will show you today are all from H&M, including the top that I'm actually wearing right now, which is a very long black T-shirt. So the next top I'm going to show you also from H&M. This is my extremely long, it's almost like a dress, extremely long, uh, like, faux satanic occult, there we go, it's occult looking. It's not clean, I need to wash this. But the, uh, I love this top because of how long it is. I hate tops that don't, that only stop at the waist. Because I'm really self-conscious and like, I hate it when it stops there and like, I raise my hands and you can like, see my stomach and stuff. My stomach is not bad, I have a pretty decent looking body, it's just, I don't know, I don't feel as though it fits right unless it goes over my ass. <laughs> okay, this this is also not clean, but it's not, it doesn't matter. This is, uh, this is awesome. 
This is like a, it, it, let me show you how this, this thing is shaped. So it has like a ruffly neck on it that also can be pulled over as a hood. And that's what that is. That's the entire neck. So it starts here and goes all the way up. So it's like a long tube of, of uh, material. And then when you put it on, it sort of like ruffles up and you can put it over your head because it, it just sort of stretches out. But another really awesome thing that I love about this top is the way it, uh, it spikes. It has like these sort of rough edged bottom, sort of like a, like a witch's skirt or something. But it, it, you know, I like the jaggedy sort of rough look to it. It's really nice, and that's how it, and then when you put it on, it, it's really long, again, it's like a really long, sort of light, early spring sort of thing that you would wear, because the material's not super thick, but you do get pretty warm in it because of how baggy it is. And I think I got that from Virgin Black. Again, it's in the description. Now this next top, again, is super long. It's this black hoodie. See, hood. And there's no zip or anything, it just goes straight over the top. But it has like these cool white, it has like a cool white print on the side with like Japanese writing on it. But it looks like katakana, so it's probably gonna be really simple too. In fact, if you just pause the video and then just sort of, you can, you can probably figure out what it says. But again, this is, this is a really long hoodie. See? But on the sides, it has these black zips. And you can choose to like have it zipped up so it's sort of fitting, but you can also like unzip them so you can have like a very loose hem around the legs. But that, that's how long, that's how far down it goes. And I got this from H&M. Always keep an eye on H&M. They have some great stuff in there. So this is one of the only other things I own from, from Killstar, and it's this. I thought this was gonna be way more awesome than it was. Like, uh, I didn't realize, and this is my fault, I didn't realize that uh, the Baphomet on this had like fucking sunglasses on, and there was like these stupid like weed things all over it. And even though this is an extra large and exactly the same size as my other Killstar, this one is much longer than this one. You see that? I'm actually holding them the, both the same height, but this one's much longer. This one stops uncomfortably short of the waistline, and I hate it. I do not wear this as much as I should. I probably should have sent it back. <laughs> I do not like this top. It's annoying because you would have thought that if they were both extra large they'd be the same length, but it's not. Okay, no one can have too many of these. This is a nondescript long black t-shirt. So this goes beyond the waistline and like covers my ass and everything. So this, this is like my favorite style of t-shirt to wear. Just a really long plain black top. It goes with everything that I own. Like I can always guarantee on this to go with whatever it is I'm wearing that day. I have two of these. This is one. I'm wearing the other. You can get these from H&M. H&M sort of specialize in really long t-shirts for guys. So this is another vest top. And it has like this cool print on the back. This is also from H&M. And what's it say at the top? Tied to love, whatever. But the, uh, I don't tend to wear this too much because whenever I was chubby and I wore this, you could sort of see like this very unflattering like flap <laughs> like underneath my arm through the very deep armholes that are in the side. I'm in much better shape now so I, like I wear this more often now but uh, at the time it was very unflattering and every time I look at this top I just think about how fat I was and this, this top sort of showed it off. Um, this can actually, it's so baggy and so loose that this would actually go great over the top of some other tighter clothing. You know? That's how, I, that's how I'd probably wear this in the future. Okay, next top is uh, obviously <laughs> my own Mitch that I have here with like the, which is meant to be the fucking, the ISO heart that I have, the isometric heart, which I deemed the ISO heart literally just now. And um, I got this, oh shit, this fucking light. I got this from, uh, is that clean? It is. I got this from uh, vistaprint.com where they just literally print anything you want. So I'm gonna get like, t-shirts with like various dumb shit printed on it. This is a t-shirt that I use as like for pajamas and stuff. I think this was actually sent to me by a, a viewer and it's always in control. Do you know what? I'm pretty sure this was part of a fan mail package so thank you very much for sending this to me. Okay, this hoodie is one of my favorite things and I've only recently refound it when I re when I cleaned this whole wardrobe thing. So this is, it's not the longest but the fit is great. So this is a gray hoodie. 
and it has these zippers on the side and it's the same as the other one it, again from, this is from H&M and you can zip it up for a tight fit or you can unzip it for a very loose fit around the waist which is what I choose because I have like a bodacious ass and, and clothes like very unflatteringly cling to it so I try and make th get things as like as loose as they can around there <laughs> and weirdly enough this is only a medium you think I would have got a large? no I had a medium look at that so this is another shirt, it's just a, a grey shirt instead of a black one, just in case I, did, I feel like wearing a grey top instead of a, a black one, obviously. Uh, the neck on this one is a little tight. This is a 16 inch neck, I think I'm a 17 or an 18. Now, I got this top like 5, maybe 6 years ago, and it's from, I think it's from the Iron Fist store, which is no longer open over here. But it's this top, and I, I, unfortunately, Kai got this for me, and I don't actually wear this that often because it has color on it, and I don't wear anything with color. Um, but it, it's a nice, it's a nice shade of green. It's actually based off a top that I wanted that Iron Fist did do, which is sort of like this, but with like a more realistic skeleton skeleton design. It also has on the back. I don't know. I might start wearing this again, but I don't know. I'm not really, a, I'm not a big fan on color, obviously. <laughs> Okay, also from H&M, this is my super deep v-neck t-shirt. It's really, really loose. It's not very long on me, but it's very, very baggy, so it's okay. So it doesn't cling in unflattering places. It's a bit of a pain in the ass because, like, I can only wear it, like, once before the, the neckline stretches ridiculously, and I need to wash it again to sort of retract all the fibers together again. So there it is. Okay, now these are always good to have. This is from H- uh, yes. This is from H&M. So these are always good to have. So this is a nondescript long black vest. It's sort of, I sort of use these the same way as I use my long black t-shirts. Except like when it's really, really hot and you don't want to wear a really thick t-shirt, instead you can just wear the vest. This goes great underneath anything. This is the same as well. It's just a very slightly different material. In fact, I think this is actually thinner. This one is from Primark. Um, it's Primark, okay? It's actually Primark. Everyone over here says Primark, it's fucking Primark. So this is a top that I actually really love. Um, I would have preferred this in an extra large, because this is a large. Uh, this was actually a gift for a photo shoot that I did for uh, Bella Muerta, which is also our mailing address, but they do clothes like this, which is awesome. You should check them out online. There's some really nice stuff you can buy. The link is in the description. But the, uh, did a photo shoot and we, we, it was like a really fun day and at the end of the day they gave me this as a, as a gift for the, for the shoot so thank you very much guys, it really meant a lot to me. Now I don't wear this too often, I would link it to a store where you can get this from but I actually got this at Camden Market in London where there's just acres and acres of cloth clothing racks outside or inside of a tent depending on the weather and uh, you can just go ahead and like pick up any sort of awesome random stuff there. So if you're ever in London, go to Camden Market, you'll find some kick-ass clothing. Now, I don't wear this too much. I'm not I'm not really a big fan of the fit. I don't, I don't like the way it, it feels on me, but everyone loves this. Kaya loves it. I've worn it in a vlog or a video once, and people absolutely loved it there. Kaya's mom loves this, but I don't like it. I might wear it eventually just to please everybody else, because I guess it does kind of look good on me, but I don't know, I, I don't like the way it feels on me. And then for the last of the t-shirts then, that's on the rack, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing in a sec, uh, is this really long vest, again from H&M. So it has like a very like asymmetrical cut at the bottom where it comes down to this like tattered spike. The same on the back as well. And it's very thin flowy material. I actually think this is for girls. The reason why I wore girls clothes a couple of years ago almost exclusively is because Girls clothes are so much more fucking interesting. Guys clothes in a lot of stores are literally just jeans and a fucking t-shirt. Girls get really awesome cool stuff like this. So I've, only, I've already shown you the top of the t-shirt that I'm wearing because I have two of them. But I'm actually going to show you the uh, this cool like shawl thing that I'm wearing. It's like a, it's not really a cardigan. It's uh, it's this. It's, it's sort of like a really... Let me see if I can get that close up. Can you see that? It's like a... Straight, I, I wouldn't even know what to cotton, I guess, like a like a, a loose weave cotton. And uh, when I got this, it was in much better condition, but there's like holes in it now, which I think actually makes it look better. <laughs> but it's this very, very long, uh, tatty looking shawl that goes over your shoulders. It doesn't button up or anything, it just sort of 
you know, drapes over you. And this looks great over pretty much anything. <laughs> if I want, a, 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 if I want an outfit to look more alternative, more goth looking, I'll put this over the top, and it completely does what I want it to do. And you can get this from Virgin Black. I will give you a heads up about Virgin Black. Uh, the delivery time is extremely long because it comes from Korea. It can also be pretty expensive for shipping as well. Clothes themselves, pretty cheap. So it's not, so, it's not too bad. And also, whenever the season changes, they get rid of a lot of their, their clothing. So if, they, if you really like to winter, or if I got something from their winter range, and it's now summer, their winter range won't be on there. So if I got this in spring, it's currently winter now in the Northern Hemisphere, it probably won't be on there. Okay, so now I am going to go through all of my trousers, which are these ones, all my pants. I'm going to go through my pants that are up here. H&M skinny jeans, and they have a, a tear in the knee. When it comes to tear in clothing, like tear, like fashionable tears in clothing, I prefer to do it myself. Whenever it comes on the clothing, it seems really lame. But I, I bought these because of how well they fit. They came with a tear in it. Okay, these here are all skinny jeans. There's one, two, three. I have three pairs of skinny jeans because they're just such a great pair of pants to have. They, they go with a lot of, a lot of stuff. Okay, now I'm going to show you all the stuff that's not skinny jeans. Now when I first got these trousers, I wasn't hugely fussed on them, but then all of a sudden I put them on after a few months of just having them in the back of my wardrobe, and they fit amazing. I figured out how to wear them, weirdly, is a thing that you need to figure out with these trousers. So these are like, very low crotch, very, very, very Rick Owens looking. In fact, they might even be fake Rick Owens. Um, trousers, and it, it's very loud material, it's like very very, very thick, very stretchy material. And, uh, and, you, and you can just, just have a look at them, they look great. I usually like to wear these with a very long top and like a pair of high tops, very Rick Owens looking. And I got these from Virgin Black. So we have another pair of uh, low crotch, or harem as they call them, uh, pants. So these are a lot more um, military looking, they have like cargo pant looking. So again, now these ones are cotton, so this is a much more uh, flexible material, very quiet material. Um, I've had these for a while, and I got these from Yes Style. Link in the description. So Yes Style is this really awesome website online where you can buy lots of Chinese, Japanese, and Korean clothing. And I used to buy a lot of stuff from there, but it's all gone missing. But one of my favorite things that I bought from there, which I still have, because they were, it was my favorite thing, uh, were these pants. As you can see, they have a very low crotch, and they, they just fit so great, and they go so well with a pair of black high tops. So when I was about 15, 16 years old, there was this really awesome uh, eBay store that I used to buy my stuff from. It was, cool. it was like Chili Lolita shop, or and there was another one. I can't remember what it was called, but there was like these e these Chinese slash Korean eBay stores, and they sold J-Rock clothing, and it was like super cheap. Nobody knew about it, and they had pretty much any J-Rock clothing you could imagine, and they'd send it out for you. I bought so much stuff from them over the years, and I've grown out of it because it was really small, and I used to be so much slimmer. Anyway, so they'd all sell this brand called uh, Punk Rave, and Punk Rave now have their own online store, and they gave me these pants. Now I've already kind of done a video on these before, so I probably I won't show them too much. Uh, but they have like these stretchy cuffs that go around your ankles, and they have like these raised rubber shapes, studs that go over your knees. Cotton material, and they again low crotch, because low crotch just I don't know I just there's something about my body type that reacts well to low crotch. If I wear like tight clothing that goes all the way up the inside of the leg because I've like I'm, I'm really stocky so I have like really thick rugby player legs I don't have like those attractive slender anime legs that a lot of guys do I have like chicken drummer legs and I hate my legs with a burning passion so if I wear a harem it gives the illusion that I have slim legs because they could because they don't cling to the to the inner thigh at the top and the rest are all skinny jeans so I'm going to show you the shorts and leggings that I'm wearing right now so these are a pair of low crotch shorts with like a, a rope drawstring for the front. And I bought these from Virgin Black along with these sort of 
faux leather leggings. They look like leather, but they're actually just like stretchy standard material. And you wear them underneath and you give you get like this cool Rick Owens thing going on. Especially if you wear like a pair of black and white trainers with them or high tops. And they go really well with this outfit. So as you can see, this is a really long t-shirt. That's where Kai put all the clothes. So she's meant to fold those up. So as you can see here, if you put like a long t-shirt over the top, get this black shawl, low pair, low crotch shorts, and this, it's a pretty decent outfit. Do you think? So thank you everybody for watching my wardrobe tour, clothing, what I have in my wardrobe video. If you want to see more of these clothes, um, then whenever spring or summer hits or whenever it gets warmer, I'm going to be doing a lookbook. So I'm going to go out into like some nice sort of environments like forests and beaches and fields and stuff. I'm going to get the drone, the cameras and all sorts of, you know, professional looking stuff. And I'm going to do like a, like a, you know what a lookbook is, just show off my outfits and how I wear them and my ensembles and stuff. So you can look forward to that. I'm going to go figure out what to do for today. I'm going to get out of this room because the dust is, is aggravating my nose like crazy. I'm like, I, I've had to cut out all my sneezes. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in another video. And remember, you can have a great day if you just make it a great day. Goodbye, everyone.